We're always going in. <laughs> Just what's been the emphasis this week? Uh, obviously, Brian Day didn't leave any uh, doubt that he would like to have seen the offensive pl line play a little better last week and stuff. So what, what's the emphasis, I guess, third, third week with these guys? Third uh, game with these guys? You have good tape and good uh, meaningful reps now to look at. So being able to visually show the guys when you do your job, when you execute the communication, your technique, this is what happens. And here's what happens when you don't. So uh, the emphasis of, yes, effort, execution, demeanor is pressed. Uh, but those fine details, like we just, we can never get away from them, but you can't have the guys being processed by analysis. And now there's good tape to look at and say, all right, here's how we got to execute it. Here's the intensity, here's the demeanor. Maybe that something you get in a scout look or something changes on Saturday. Yeah. And you get that week one to week two because what are you really game plan? We've got 10, 12 games from the year before, and then maybe one and none here too. So we've got to do a good job as coaches, and I got to do a good job of giving them the right amount of information, the right amount of stuff to put in a briefcase to take the work, and then let them go play fast. So that's what we've been really pushing more. Uh, we do some things really well. I thought, you know, communication, protection, when we know where we're going and what we're doing on the same page, it's been good. Um, and then same deal, maybe you get in into a long drive or maybe early on something doesn't go well, you're behind the sticks. You can't have that front runner mentality. You've got to go get half. You gotta get back on schedule. Um, so the learning part of the game, we've seen now what hurts us and we've seen now what we do really well. So I think with that just learning and going from those is what we gotta take into this week. Short yard We all have to be efficient. I mean up front you look at it, there's five guys so Everyone's at the POA because there's no people in the box, there's no people down. So we've got to help each other out that way. And then as you build on, do we have one tight end or two tight ends? And then we have a good read of the back. So I think it's just the cohesive effort of the run unit on that page or on that play. We've got to be efficient and help each other and not be a one or your twosie because the more people you add to the box, the lesser room for error you have. And so that's where we've got to be more complimentary there as a whole. But really that just starts with us up front, moving our guy giving the back a chance to press, giving the quarterback a chance to read something a little better, but just executing better. How confident do you feel right now that the five guys you have out there, they are the right five for this season? Well, it's still week by week. But yeah, those guys have been grooving and playing together. Um, you know, you got guys from the back, you got Vic, you got Tegra, you got, you know, uh, Enix coming along. So those guys are getting meaningful reps in practice. It's just a matter of, if you want to overtake the guy, then you got to be the guy. If you're the guy and you want to keep it, you got to press. So I would say from, uh, you know, Monday through Friday deal, we come out and, you know, you're going to air on a Wednesday practice and the third down like you haven't had. You're going to have some all the way through the week. We've had that. We've just got to carry that into the game and bear a little more fruit and more consistently by relying on what we've done during the week because those guys are pressing and pushing each other. You know, we get all the way to the end of the week. Like, you probably, probably saw my fat out of shape butt on the bikes with him. Like, there, there's no lack of want to, demeanor, or grit that way. We've just got to execute better. So the, if there's a word this week, is it more consistency? Is it more aggression? Uh, what, what, what's We've the, been saying violent. Thing, violent? Yeah. I've been putting that in our, in our, uh, just in our demeanor and our stuff. And like, you want to really be a tough guy and be a tough guy all the time. And so we've got to play more violent. We can't be lines on a page. You know, it's, we're not making a ton of mental mistakes, which is a positive. We've got too many POAs and point of attack mistakes that we've got to go with and, and you can solve that through aggression and violence by I mean being allowed on a page from the tackle and the playbook page says block the three technique that's not how you block the three technique you have the three technique and you got to go freaking block the three technique and so if there's any of an emphasis that it's been added like let's be violent in executing our job because we're pretty good at communicating where we're supposed to go I was going to say you've got, you've got video probably of y'all doing it right too right I mean several series etc do you play those up more than anything? That's yeah, the roller coaster ride. Yeah. You show the really good. You show the execution of whether it be protection, whether it be a run play. You know, I mean, you look last week. We were on the first play of the game. We roll up the ball. They bring a the pressure. They add a six man to the box. We had it up and we go for nine. We're an arm tackle away for opening the game going whatever it was, 70, 75. The next play, we make the right call. We're lying on the page and we get a holding call. That was another run that negated a six, eight yard run. So that's what I'm saying. Like, we get to the right people, but. What's your demeanor and how you're getting it? That's that's what we got to execute and clean up. So without using the word violent there, so in those short term situations, is it the execution or just a lot of push because of the violence? Well, as I say, I mean, we're on the right people. 
we gotta we gotta block those people better. We gotta be on them better. And then when we do it, we gotta make the right cut. Uh, if all five of those guys do it, then whoever's adding to the box to get it's gotta do it. Or you know, so that's what. So we gotta be we gotta help each other because like I said, I mean, just numerically, if we have five blockers and they have five defenders, then it's man on man. That doesn't happen in the game of football. So how do you equate numbers? You're going to leave the widest. You're going to trade shift in motion or run away from the widest so that you're giving the back that one guy for a yard or two yards. You add more people to it, then you can block those seven, but there's an eighth guy there because you're not reading, you're not throwing off of the back. And so the more you equate to it, you know, you have to be efficient that way. And then just, you know, everything goes into it. The, the new clock, the number of plays, like there's a bunch of different factors going there. So what's that mean for us? We bite back to what we go. If I have that three technique, I got to kick that three technique well. Okay. So. Um, just how much of this overall mindset? Yeah, probably a lot. You know, I mean, yeah, I and mean, you can grade to play a bunch of different ways. Like, I got an S, I did my job. I got an S, I got to my job, but was there an, a high effort or execution or a, a critical point that you got to? So emphasizing those and, like I said, being able to teach off of those and the next time that shows, like that's a matchup game or that's you versus me and we're both the same, how am I making that block versus not making that block? It's gotta be that violent, that execution, whatever that may be. Justin, when we talk to you, how do you balance that when you start to figure out how you can to start a I mean, yeah, the holistic approach, like he's gotta make it with me. So you have to be able to do both. Uh, I mean, I think you're more looking at that, Spencer, like you wouldn't have a guard playing on the perimeter being a tackle because he can't pass for out there, but he's inside and he can handle that. Um, you know, I, I, I just got to ride him on the bike. I'm too blown out to really process that. <laughs> I'm not trying to cut your question off, but like, yeah, you have to be able to do both. And then it's our job to put the guys in the right situation of if you wouldn't say, you know, making it up, but if you wouldn't have true drop back tackles, then you can't call five man empty drop back protection. You've got to chip and release and do that. So I think execution wise, we've got to do a good job and we try to do that of putting our guys in the best situation, you know, reverting back to be that line on that page and go do my job when I do that. So you wouldn't put a non-pass blocking guy in a situation like that. Does that make sense? Hope that answers your question that way. Just, how do you evaluate the line's hand placement through these first couple weeks? Because some of those holding penalties and in the face, those are the things. That yeah, I mean, when you get those egregious ones, like, yeah, I mean, you watch Josh Simmons from last, or from last week. He's gluing his hips, he's running his feet, his hands goes high. You got to feel that and get it out. He had one two or three plays later where Chip busted for nine or ten yards. The exact same profile, the exact same hit. His hand started to go high, and he pulled it out and put his hip on him. And then Chip pressed and slid. I think we got up to the two or three yard line. So, I mean, yeah, you get those. It's why are those happening? Well, that's because my technique or something wasn't taking me home. I wasn't rebite or fixing that. And you just got to, you got to feel that. You got to learn from them, and you have to grow. And now we have to go fast, fast, because there's no room for error. And we, you put a bunch of those together, it's already hard enough to gain those yards with extra hats in the box or a, a blitz pattern or something from that. Just, we, just got, we have to be cleaner that way. Just when you're saying it, it, you feel like you're blocking the right guys, it's not mental mistakes, right? Am I to paraphrase for the most part what you're saying? We've cut down on mental mistakes. So we got to execute the point of that. So when you're an offensive line coach and you just want your line to play better, what's easier to try to fix? If it is mental stuff, hey, we're not doing the right thing, I mean, or is it easier to fix physical stuff? You, gotta, you have to put them in the situations where there's less thinking. So, I mean, those good plays, I mean, you guys have watched the tape once again. Like, you can tell when all five dudes know what's going on, it just looks like a wall. <laughs> whether that's here, whether that's my son's playing, you know, highest junior high middle school football. Like, when they know what's going on, those five guys that don't know much are just <laughs> rolling off the ball and run play. If you're protecting the right guys, you're able to do that and play fast. The more you put on their plate or the more you put in their backpack, they're carrying more. They can't play as fast. So that's our job as coaches, saying, how do we schematically put them in the right situations to go? give them those reps and then how do you intensify those reps or quantify those reps in the scout team versus the good on good period and we just have to keep pressing and coaching that and they have to keep taking it. Two more when we talked to you like a month ago, you were talking about the benefits of, of the split practices playing on two fields and how many reps have given you to evaluate guys. Did it also, are you playing a little bit of catch up though on like on the cohesion um, aspect of it? When did you start to break that down to where the, the five ones would be together? When we got into game prep or game plan prep stuff, so that's been long enough. You know, those reps now for us are, are uh, full speed reps versus the defense. That's how you're trying to simulate what we talked about earlier. So getting good on good or ones versus ones as much as you can do those, but not to an extreme. No, I don't feel that. Hey, Justin, with the last question, the work for violence. Have you noticed a discrepancy in the physicality between gap and zone this year at all? 
Uh, no, it's just comfort in the class. You know, uh, I mean, I think we've been pretty universal and we've had both of those on tape, but that's all game plan wise. Some teams match up and you want to be able to do that. Other times it doesn't and you feel like your zone stuff or full zone and things is better. So I think we've got a good mix of that. Um, you know, I think the guard, our guards are more comfortable just because they play a lot of ball. So if you have some pull schemes, we're pretty good. Our tackles have done some pull on. We feel like our tackles are pretty athletic. But if you get into a game week where that's not what's good on paper, then you might see less of those. But that has less to do with, let's feel comfortable like our guys can do that, that right. stuff more than anything else. Just these guys gave a 400 yards rushing to their first opponent this, week, this year, South Florida and mm -hmm. stuff. What, what problems do they present specifically, Western, Western Kentucky? Well, schematically, I mean, they yeah. do a lot. You know, so you've got to be really good at communication. How many downs are there, uh, where they're at. So they do a lot. So um, that's just getting in rhythm with our guys during the week. Of, all right, what's called? What am I seeing? How do I go block it? And then, like we said, too, it's just repetitive. But like just put them in the right spots, in the right place where, you know, there might be eight different looks you have, but I'm doing the same thing on six of those eight. That's a good play. Versus if you're looking for that one E or two E that hits, right, only to this, you know, less, less attraction to play with.